Hello everyone. Welcome to my class Mastery Mathematics with Teacher Nabila. Please like and subscribe for more upcoming video. Okay, so for today we are going to learn about chapter 2 factors and multiples. So for the first class we will learn about 2.1 factors. Okay, what are factors? Factors. factors of a number are whole numbers that can be divided the number completely. For example, determine whether 7 is a factor of 42. So we check. Is 42 can divide by 7? So 42 divided by 7 equal to 6. So yes, we can divide. 42 divided by 7. So, mean that 7 is a factor of 42. If you can divide completely without any remainder, so mean that that number is a factor of the given number. Okay, another example. Determine whether it is a factor of 116. So, we check. Is it 116 can be divided by 8? Okay, so we get 14 remainder 4. So, mean that this one is not a factor of 116. So, make sure when you want to determine whether the number is the factor of a given number, you divide. If you can divide completely, so mean that that is the factor of the number. But if you cannot divide completely, mean that you have remainder. So, that is not the factor of the number given. Okay. Listing the factor. So, how to list the factor? For example, list all the factor of 6. Okay, so how do we want to determine what numbers are the factors of 6? So, we check. Which whole number can be divisible 6? Is it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6? Okay, so we check. 6 can divide by, uh, six can divide by 1. Yes, equal to 6. So, mean that 1 is a factor. 6 can divide by 2? Yes, you get 3. So, that one also the factor. 6 can divide by 3? Yes, can divide by 3. So, that is also the factor. 6 can divide by 4? Oh no, we have the remainder. Okay, and then that one also we have the remainder. So, mean that 4 and 5? are not the factor of 6. And then 6 divided by 6, we get 1. So, mean that these are the, these are the only factor of 6. 1, 2, 3, 6. So, we list the factor of 6 are 1, 2, 3, 6. Okay, I give you another example. List all the factors of 15. So we check. Which whole number can be visible 15? Is it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15? So we have to check one by one. So 15 divided by 1? Can or cannot? Can. So that is a factor. Divide by 2? Cannot. Divide by 3? Can. Divide by 4? Cannot. Divide by 5? Yes. 6? No. 7? 8? 9? 10? Cannot. So that is the factor of 15. So we list the factor of 15 are 1, 3, 5, 15. List all the factors of 48. Which whole number can be divisible by 48? Is it 1, 2, 3, 4, until 47, 48? So, that, that is so many numbers. So, how we want to simplify this one so that we can find in fastest way? Okay, so you check one by one. 48 divided by 1 can. 48 divided by 2 can. 48 divided by 3 can. 48 divided by 4 can. 48 divided by 5? Cannot. 48 divided by 6? 
can. 48 divided by 7? Cannot. 48 divided by 8? Oh, you see, we have the repeated number here. Okay, you look at here. This is 6 equal to 8. The next one is 8 equal to 6. So, this one are repeated. So, if you find the repeated number, we can just stop here. Okay, we stop here. Why? These are the factors that you know just now. But, you remember, the next one should be the repeated of this number. 48 divided by 8, you get 6. The next one will 48 divided by 12, you get 4. Next, 48 divided by 16, you get 3. So, mean that all this number also the factors of 48. Okay, so this is the fastest way. Rather than you list all the numbers and you find the factor one by one. So, you will get the answer. We list down the factor of 48. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, and 48. Okay, try one more question. List all the factors of 54. So we check which num uh, which whole numbers can be divisible by 54. There are so many numbers here. So we try one by one, by one divide by 1, divide by 2, divide by 3, divide by 4 cannot, 5 cannot, 6 can. The next one should be divided by 9. So this one already repeated. So we stop here. So that are the factors. Okay, so the factors of 54 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, 27, and 54. So that's how we list the factors of a given number. Okay, next. Prime factors. So prime factors are prime numbers among the factors. So you still remember you have learned prime numbers in your primary school. Prime numbers are numbers that can only be divided by one and itself. Cannot be divided by any other number except one and itself only. So for example, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 70, 23 and so on. So list all the prime factors of 24. Okay, we have method 1. We list the factor. <clears throat> so how to list the factor like just now? We list all the factor of 24. So remember 24 you list just now. So factor of 24 equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. Okay, now from here, we circle the prime number. So from the list we got here, this is the list of factors of 24 so we circle the prime number which are the prime number is it one prime number no so two yes three yes four no six eight twelve twenty four all no not prime number so only two and three so we write down as prime factor of 24 equal to two and three okay we look at method Two, list all the prime factors of 28. Method 2 of factor 3. So how to use factor 3? So we want to find the prime factor of 28. So you put 28 here. So we make the factor, the 3 like this. So you find two numbers, two product, uh, product of two numbers. When you times this two number, you will get 28. So we can start with the smallest prime number 2. 2 times 14. 28 equal to 2 times 14. 2 times 14 is 28. So 2, is it 2 prime number? Yes, 2 is prime number. Is it 4 prime number? No. So if not prime number, you have to divide again. You factor 3 again like this. Okay, so 14 equal to 2 times 7. Is it 2 prime number? Yes. 7 prime number? Yes. So mean that all you get is prime number, so you stop here. So mean that 
this number, the circle number are the prime factor. So prime factors of 28 are 2 and 7. This one is repeated. 2 and 2 are repeated. So we only write one, one time only. Okay, 2 and 7. Okay. Express 28 in the form of prime factorization. So we want to express this number in the form of prime factorization. So how to write the prime, uh, prime factorization? You multiply all the prime number you get just now. This is the prime number you get just now. So you multiply all this. So you will get the answer like this. No need to, to solve because 2 times 2 times 7 equal to 28. We just want to express this 28 into the prime factorization. These are called prime factorization. So this is the answer. Okay, so list all the prime factor of 15. Method 3, repeated division. So this is repeated division. So you make Okay, a line like this and then you put the number you want to find here so what happened is you have to divide here divide by using prime number in ascending order which can divide completely so here you put the prime number which can divide this number so 15 you try divide by 2 15 can divide by 2 cannot so we proceed the next 15 can divide by 3 Yes, so we put 3 here. Okay, so 15 divided by 3, what is the answer? 15 divided by 3 equal to 5. So you write down the answer below here. 5. Okay, so 5, you divide again by any whole number, any prime number here. So 5, we divide by 5. So you will get 5 divided by 5 equal to 1. Okay, equal to 1. So you stop when the answer here equal to 1. Okay, so you will get these are the prime factor. So the prime factors are 3 and 5. This is repeated division. So you can use any method you prefer. If you prefer method 1, you use method 1. If you prefer method 2, you use method 2. If you prefer method 3, you use method 3. No problem, the answer will be same. So, how to express this using the prime factorization if you use this method? So, same, you take these two number on the left here and then you times. So, it will be give you 15, 15, we want to express 15. So, equal to 3 times 5. You just times this number. Okay, so you will get the answer. So exercise, do this in your exercise book now. I give you two minutes. You can try to do this in your exercise book. Number one, list all the factors of 20. So remember how to find the factor of a number we use division, right? So 20 divided by 1, 20 divided by 2, 20 divided by 4, 20 divided by 5 already repeated. So we stop. So our factors are equal to 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20. Next, list all the prime factors of 20. So you can find from this list the prime factor equal to Two only, eh, sorry, 2 and 5. Here, this is the prime number. But you can also use another method. Let's say you want to use factor 3. So 20 equal to 2 times 10. 2, are prime, uh, two is prime number. So we go to 10. 10 not prime number, we divide again. So you get 2 times 5. So 2 prime number, 5 also prime number. So our prime factor equal to 2 and 5. And then number 3, express 20 in the form of prime factorization. So we times all this number. So you get 20 equal to 2 times 2 times 5.
5. Okay, so for your offline, offline class, you can do this exercise in your exercise book. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you, class. Hope to see you again. If you have any problem or any suggestion, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you, class.